we are discussing about stages of internationalization of an organization and this is the fourth stage and the one which corresponds with the network of subsidiary stage in the stages of, of internationalization model and this is the stage of global product area division either the organization can have a global product division structure or it can have a global area division structure so jab aapke international operations bahut zyada spread kar jate hain aur aapki international sales bahut grow kar jati hain to aap ya to product division structure ki taraf ja sakte hain agar aapki multinational different products bana rahi hai to aap product division structure ki taraf ja sakte hain aur ya agar aapki organization ek hi product bana rahi hai ya kuch chand products bana rahe hain to aap area division structure ki taraf ja sakte hain let's take a look at both of them this is a global product area division structure a combination of both of them in the first layer you can see that this is a product division structure and on the second layer you can see that area divisions have also been added so if an organization is producing three products a b and c if they want to go for a product division structure they would have one worldwide production group or division a worldwide production group or division b worldwide production group or division c and now if they are even more complex they can go for an area division as well for example agar wo ek product bana rahe hain jiski wo ek to unki overall मैनेजमेंट है वर्ल्ड वाइड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रोडक्ट बी एंड देन दे आर सेलिंग इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड देन दे कैन ऑल्सो गो फॉर एडिंग द एरिया स्ट्रक्चर इन दैट सो दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दैट एरिया वन इज कंसर्न विद डोमेस्टिक सेल्स एंड एरिया टू इज कंसर्न विद इंटरनेशनल सेल्स एंड देन अंडर दैट there are functional units under each area operating in the domestic and international domain but basically this uh, diagram is showing you how a product division structure operates this is particularly a global area division structure in which the organization is divided into various geographical areas so it may be divided into north american area latin american area european area middle east african area far east area but that is hypothetical in real terms the organization will have those divisions in geographical terms in which they are operating examples of product division structures or area division structures uh, could be found in many different multinationals for example uh, you may have heard of the uh, auto company volkswagen um bahut se logon ko nahi pata hoga lekin uh, volkswagen is a, a parent company of many automobile companies which are known to you as separate companies for example audi bentley porsche skoda seat and uh, many other automobile companies they all are owned by volkswagen corporation now volkswagen corporation because it is selling all these different products they are selling audi under a different brand name they are selling bentley under a different brand name they are selling porsche under under a different brand name so their basically their products are diversified 
so according to that they have a global product division structure in which they have production worldwide production facilities which are catering to each product whereas if you look at coca cola now coca cola has got one type of product coca cola or their different variations um, but it is operating uh, in uh, the, the, pro the product is made in the same factories so they would not be going for a product division structure they would be going for an area division structure so they would have a uh, and they would have a area division which is related with the america with the europe then with the far east with the middle east with central asia and uh, all the geographical divisions which are possible in which they are operating why do we go for a product uh, or area division structure because growth and size they create issues of communication so then you want to go for a complete division which is looking after a particular area or it is looking after a particular product so you want to completely give them the autonomy and you also want to give them the autonomy because their tensions may emerge as corporate managers they pull for more control between the corporate managers and subsidiary managers so subsidiary managers they would more they, they would more uh, want more autonomy and corporate managers they would want more control so there would be tensions coming up but to make it more eff efficient you need to delegate uh, in current scenario particularly we are going for delegation of authority decentralization uh, participatory management styles so in order to do all that uh, when your um, volume gets that big you need to give autonomy to your international functions and then there is always dilemma between uh, national responsiveness and global integration uh, either uh, on one side you want to be globally integrated you don't want to be completely uh, you know located in the local market you want to have a company which is globally integrated but yet you also want to be nationally responsive in which you are responsive to the needs of that particular country and the local market so there is always dilemma and to resolve that dilemma you have to go for a uh, global division structure all right so if the growth strategy it involves product diversification then you go for a product division structure global product division structure and if a growth strategy that involves geographical expansion then global area division structures will be established when you are growing at that extent then there were, would be a number of implications for your organization so number one implication you would have heard this sentence many times is think global act local so you need to think globally but you need to act locally that is the first implication then it is an extremely complex environment uh, and it includes global competitors global customers universal products so you have universal products you are selling your product to the entire globe so your customers are global your competitors are global your products are universal then you have world scale factories factories which are producing that can sell to the entire world and technological advances so you will be concerned with all these aspects that are implications of glowing global at that scale 